So one down, four to go from Cahill's point of view. It's 5-1 down, eight. it's now 5-2. He made a James 90 Cahill break, Oxford. highest of the match to win that seventh frame. Still in deep trouble here. Trying to reach the second qualifying round of the World Championship. Sam Baird is the player waiting in round two. Of course, a fresh lot of players coming in for the second round tomorrow to take on the survivors from round one. Our afternoon match is Jimmy White against Michael Giorgio. 1.30 UK time tomorrow afternoon. Very risky to take the long straight red on, especially with the black tied up. So a big target, the brown and yellow. Very close. Yeah. But back it goes. These referees put in a shift as well. Rob Spencer it was who was doing the match uh, last night till 1am. This is of course Colin Humphreys. This uh, well, it could still be a late finish but uh, okay. regressing quicker than some of the others this evening. It's certainly harder. Yes, and almost too hard. Oh, can he pop this red mix of the black? And that's what he was scared of the first time round. That's why he didn't want to hit it hard. Whoa. Nicely played, good positional shot. Yeah, chance to build Eight. a good lead in the frame that he needs. Nine. Well, if that red at the back of the pack there doesn't go, he could give him a little nudge. Just a little nudge. It's developed another one. Sixteen. Seventeen. Well, what moments for Ben Burton's. And it's a, a young snooker fan would have dreamed of playing in the World Championship. And now he is, and he's in, in the frame he needs to win his first match. And quite obviously, at 15, he can only improve. He's already shown plenty of promise this evening, but in the next few years, his development will be very interesting to watch. Thirty. 
31. Doesn't want to leave himself too straight on the black. It makes the next red more difficult. Got a little angle there. Could have done with a little bit more. But he's on the red. 38. This is a good lead. And also a good response to that 90 break in the last frame from James. Nicely played, perfectly onto the blue. Yeah, he didn't want the kiss, he was playing to come past them, but it's not too bad. He's on a red. 44. Would have been easier had he missed the reds. Well, nice 48 break. But he'll be disappointed not getting better position on the red from the blue. So Cahill breeds again, 48 behind. Good pull. Yeah, and if he could punish again here, it really would make Ben think a bit. Not easy because he's going to get into them reds as soon as possible. Yeah, good attempt, but unless there's a plant there, and unless he decides to play the double, it's end a break. Easy enough to get that cue ball in behind the, yep, the yellow and the brown, which is what he attempted, James Cahill. and he's pushed a red out. One good pot, that's what he'll be saying to himself. anywhere. Oh, excellent pot. And deserve better from such a good pot. Just the snooker. Well, that's good thinking. He knows he needs that red to win. Bringing that red off the cushion and trying to play a good safety behind the yellow.
times here at the English Institute of Sport in Sheffield. 39 points in this frame. Merton's in front, leading 5-2, needing one more for victory. Made that 44 earlier on in the frame to get in front. things about losing here and obviously losing the world championship is very disappointing but you can't just leave can you you've got to wait for the bus to turn up which can you know obviously be a while so you've got to sort of collect your thoughts you just want to get in the car and drive home but can't do that till you get to the hotel yeah just got to make sure you've got plenty of anchors because <laughs> i know how i would feel This is what makes it so exciting to watch. And it means the world to these players. And to be fair, they both give everything. It's been a great match this, one way or another. Not many big breaks, although James made a 90 in the last, but some important breaks, some important misses. Idea. Foul a miss. Ben Merton's four. Now we'll be going back. And he better hit it this time, otherwise he will be warned. You can see a red full ball. That's a good shot. I'm not saying he won't attack this red and pot it and win the match, but it's a good shot from where he was. Forty-three points the lead, so gotta be careful. That brown is available. So nothing safe. I think that's a wise shot to play have played the pot it would have been on the black but it would have almost certainly left a red on had he missed it yeah Ben Merton's looking for potentially just one more opening yes and showing patience Fractions, just a touch too hard. Yeah, he's showing patience for a 15 year old. You know, most players at that age would be trying to win too early. But not Ben, he's showing patience. That's another 
little bit of good luck. Young Ben there. Could so easily have left either of these reds near the left corner. Oh, that's a beauty. And the cue ball's close. Well, he didn't deserve that, did he? Ben Merton's four. He didn't deserve that. What a great pot this was. And the cue ball never looked like going anywhere else. And thank you, it is. Big shot for this young man. Oh, sweet. One. Absolutely sweet as a nut. And he fears the worst, James Cahill. Yeah, Merton's already with a useful lead. Can he just hold himself together now to complete what would be a remarkable victory? Another red and a black. We'd see him, Cahill, needing snookers. Eight. No. What? So this is the moment for Ben Merton's frame ball, match ball. Yes, and made absolutely sure, didn't he? And just another red to make absolutely sure. Sixteen. Yeah, just try and just give the pot everything here. Don't think about anything else. But it's not there, so still not quite over. 63 in it, 59 on. And excitement running through his veins, but if he's on that red, and I think he's covered it, he's been lucky. I was going to say he had a chance there, Cahill, to clear certainly three of the reds out of the way, try and play for the snooker on the last one. So a little bit of running has gone Merton's way there, even just not leaving that easy red onto the middle. You can just see, and it's understandable, he's only 15, you can see how excited he is on the verge of this victory. Cahill taking this more difficult red with the rest. James Cahill, you can see, is uh, looking fed up now. This is not the match he was hoping it would be after the great heroics of last year. To bow out in round one this year will be very disappointing. He's left this red on, and it goes in. One frame the what a difference a year makes. One. James Cahill, the giant Thanks. killer last year, qualified as an amateur, beat Ronnie O'Sullivan at the Crucible, but in 2020... He's been knocked out in the first qualifying round by the history boy, Ben Mertens, 15 from Belgium, the youngest player to win a match in the World Snooker Championship. What a night for him. He's through to round two. It's a night he'll never forget. He's beaten James Cahill by six frames to two.